Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Rise of the Tomb Raider. I am back with more Lara Croft. It's been roughly two months since I played the first game of the reboot series and well, I had a lot of fun playing it. So I decided to give this one a try as well. And yeah, there's not much to say about it. I guess you know what this is. Um, I said most what I would like to say about the series and my um, memories and experience with the series at the beginning of the first game. And I'm going to assume that most of the people watching this have watched my playthrough of the first game. And if you haven't, I will try to remember to put the link to the playlist in the description so you can check it out if you want. And while we're at it, I thought I should mention that currently the entire Tomb Raider franchise is on sale on Steam. Um, and I think it's until the 26th, so at the time of the upload of this episode, it still should be going on. So if you want to uh, complete your collection, you sh can go there and uh, buy them at a discount. I'm not sure if the newest one is actually on discount, but pretty much all the other games um, I had already bought this game a few weeks ago, but I took the opportunity to buy the season pass, which probably contains a lot of stuff that I don't need, but uh, it was like 7 euros, so I thought, sure, let's let's buy the season pass for all the extras. I actually got a bunch of gifts um, in the marketplace, which gave me a lot of cards, and I have no idea what to use them for, but I have them now, so most of it seems to be like outfits and gear, but it seems like some parts of the season pass are like actual playable story content. So if it is worth playing that stuff, I will do so. But for now, we are obviously going to play the main game and I am uh, looking forward to that. Uh, the first game of the reboot was obviously uh, mostly an origin story. So um, I'm curious to see how this one will continue. I mean, it's called Rise of the Tomb Raider which indicates that she's not quite the Tomb Raider, but she's going to rise as the Tomb Raider within this game. I don't know how much time has passed between the story of this game and the previous one, if she had other adventures in between, or if this is basically her next adventure after um, her adventure on that uh, island in, in the first game. So yeah. Really not much to say about it, just my usual disclaimer, just in case. Please, no spoilers in the comment sections unless you use a spoiler shield. And I upload every other day, always at the same time, which is 7 p.m. Central European time. And on the alternating days, I'm currently playing Resident Evil 2 Remake. So yeah, that's about it. You can also follow me on Twitter for updates and stuff, and the link is in the description. But that's pretty much all I would like to say about this. So yeah, let's go and start a new game. So, what do we got here? Adventurer. Combat has aim assistance enabled. Enemies have lower health and damage. Tomb Raider, a good balance of difficulty. Combat has aim assistance disabled. Enemies have normal health and damage. Seasoned Raider. Combat has aim assistance disabled. Health regeneration is only available outside of combat. Enemies have increased health and damage. Enemies have increased senses. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm not even touching these ones. I think this one seems to be like the best one. Good balance of difficulty. We're going with that. What makes someone reach beyond the boundaries of human experience? to face the unknown. As children, we question the world around us. We learn, we accept, and gradually we lose our capacity for wonder. But some do not. The explorers, the seekers of truth. It is these pioneers who define the future of mankind. The others, they're done. No amount of money's gonna get them through those mountains. The lost city's up there, somewhere. That's gonna be a hell of a climb. I'm not turning back. I know. 
You should stay here with them. Not a chance. Is that the guy from the first game? I think it is. Also, I should check out if um, there are subtitles. I probably have forgotten to enable subtitles. I will do so once I have some time to do it. You're almost there. Wait till you see this view, Lara. <laughs> Take my hand. <clears throat> Well, um... Look at that! It's amazing! It is an impressive view! But the snow coming off those peaks is a bad sign. No. Okay, okay. The I am in control. The we'll have a good view of the valley beyond from the summit. Alright. Let's take it easy here. Actually, there is a very good view. I mean, look around you. This is amazing. This oh, wind um, is crazy! But it's very windy. We just need to keep moving! But hang on a second. I want to check out if um, I have subtitles that I can enable. Where would I find that? Probably not here. Ah, here we go. On with color. Sure, I guess that'll work. Okay, let's try this again with subtitles this time. This little ridge seems very sketchy, though. Hey, even if we don't find anything up here, your dad would be proud. I know, but I have a good feeling about this. <laughs> you have a good feeling? What makes you think so? After your last adventure? Oh no, oh no, wind. Lots of wind. Don't get blown away. Yep, Shit. yep, yep. Are you okay? Lost my footing. I'm fine. I almost forgot about Lara's talent to make everything collapse that she touches, so uh, let's be careful here. <laughs> oh, yep, here we go. Oh, right, um. Lay quick time. It starts again. Lara! Are you alright? Jonah! I'm here! I'll climb down there and get you! No! It's too dangerous! I can climb back up! Are you sure? Just stay put! So it is a guy from the previous game, Jonah. I see. Okay, um... I think I start to remember the controls, you know, craggy rocks, I can use my gear to climb up here, yes, still works like before, but I have to readjust to these controls because now I played other games in between like Assassin's Creed and now Resident Evil and they work a little bit differently, so it's going to take me bit to get used to this again. You want me to jump over here, right? <laughs> yes, of course. I need to jump across. Yeah. Okay. Now grab my hand. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> uh oh. You. Shit, Lara. <laughs> You're gonna give me a heart attack. Yes. Are you okay? Yeah. Come on. So where exactly are we? Himalaya? Like we gotta go through. Some pretty damn high mountains anyway. <laughs> Not bad. If the weather turns, we can hold up in this cave. Do you really think we'll find this lost city? I know this is a long shot, but that old tracker said he saw ruins up in these mountains. I guess if I was going to hide a lost city, this might be the kind of godforsaken place that I'd do it. <laughs> I 
Again with the wind. They really like wind in these games. We had some. I just hope Trinity has a us to it. Places with a lot of wind in the last game too. Who is Trinity? Storm's getting closer. We have a couple hours at most. Should be enough time. We're almost to the top. Can I not like wait for like a minute and admire the scenery? Because this is beautiful. Very beautiful. Oh, lots of snow. This must be really exhausting to walk through that snow. What do you think? We're close to something, Jonah. Mm. I can feel it. Just this last stretch to the top. All right. Let's see what's up there. Feels pretty solid here, but keep close to the wall. Okay. Okay, um, oh, I'm in control again. Looks like we climb from here. Keep your eyes open for falling ice. Right. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. Um, just a jump and attach to the ice. So. You think it's a good idea to be tethered to each other? I mean, I understand the idea behind it, but if one of us falls, the other will probably fall as well. Let's take it slow and steady. Just stay with me. All right. Uh oh. Oh, no. oh shit! That was close. Yep, everything is collapsing already. Um, so I have to go over here now. Indeed. All right, all right. I'm getting a hang of it again, like literally a hang of it. <laughs> Okay, are you sure? Let's try it. Holy yes, shit. I can make it. I don't think I can make that jump. Stay there. I'll anchor a line for you at the top. All right, I'll give you some slack. <laughs> Literally. Is this where that phrase comes from? I'll give you some slack. Almost there, Laura. You got Interesting. It. Um, okay. You want me to jump? Okay, I see. This is so dodgy. No sane person would ever do that. Ooh. Jonah! We made it! I see the ruins! Mm. Oh god! How about climbing up first? Ah. Well, Laura, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna pull you back up. Oh, Maybe it was a good idea to be tethered to each there. other. Over there! Quick! Swing me Unless to the other side. he's going to fall now as well. Um, do I have to do anything? Okay, move forward and backwards to swing. I see. Well, it's kind of working. Not very well, though. Um, maybe I should. Move. I think it's better to move sideways. Yeah, I think this is this is working much better. Now, can I make a jump here? No, I can't. I need to swing even more. Alright. I think I almost... I'm almost there. 
Hang on a little while longer. There we go. Oh, uh, Okay, um... I'm on it. I'm on it. Just, just hold on a little while longer. I'm trying to swing. There we go. Oh. Okay. Now let's get up here. Quickly. Ooh. Oh, shit. oh no. Oh, Avalanche. Go back, Jonah. Get to shelter. Yeah, Lara. Let's try to outrun an avalanche. That can only end well. All right. No, oh, we have um, a plane. Okay. Oh, I can probably grab this over here. Yes. Zip lines. Oh no. Yeah, prepare for grab. There we go. Uh oh, no, no. The avalanche is still coming. Oh, I think I jumped a little bit too late here. Well, um, that is quite the exciting start. I guess I have to um, climb to the right and then quickly jump over to this edge over here. Ah, there we go. Okay. Made it. Sort of, anyway. <laughs> Even the mountains are collapsing once Lara touches them. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I think this is supposed to happen. Not because I failed. Hope you'll make it out of there. Two weeks earlier, really? Now you're going to give me a flashback? All right. It is the greatest cruelty of life that we're all too swiftly taken from it. We age. We decay, we die. But what do we leave behind? Bones? Dust? What of the soul? Does it endure beyond our earthly existence? I believe it does. A truth lies at the heart of many myths and stories. A truth not of science, but something more profound. The key to unlocking everlasting life. I may have found the next piece to the puzzle, but I'm not alone in this search. They're following me, watching my every step. I know them by name now. Trinity. Hm? An ancient, violent sect with designs on controlling the future of humanity. So basically the Templars? I must proceed carefully for the sake of my family. If anything were to ever happen to Lara or Anna, I could never forgive myself. Okay, so I guess this is Lara's father. inside your apartment.
God! I'm so sorry! What are you doing here? I saw the gutter press was attacking you again. I thought you could use some company. No <laughs> lies. Were you followed? Followed? Of course not. What's going on? I think I found the tomb. Oh, you can't be serious. The myth of the Prophet is real. Dad was right. Lara, your father was... unwell. No. He was close to a great discovery, tangible evidence of the immortal soul. I loved Richard. I would have married him if he'd asked. But he was a broken man. I don't want to see you end up like him. But Anna, he was right. It was everyone else who was wrong. The tomb's in Syria. Syria? Oh God, Laura, no. This is madness. Get your life sorted. Go home to the manor. You know I can't go back there. But this obsession ruined your father. I saw something. Something I... I can't explain. Now I understand what Dad was going through. It's all fairy tales. Nonsense. Don't go down this road. You know where it leads. It's the only thing that makes sense to me now. I'm going to find the Prophet's Tomb. The Prophet's Tomb? That is oddly unspecific. But okay, let's find it. Hey, we're heading into a war zone now. We better be sure about this. We're close. There should be an oasis in the canyon just ahead. You're wasting your time. There's nothing out here. Just keep driving, please. It's your money. Hm. Oh, well, a war zone indeed. Something is real right. life events, huh? Oh, that's just local militia. <laughs> I think they are following us. You told someone, didn't you? They, they paid better than you. Well, maybe they want their money back. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, well. Should have just taken my money. At least I would not have killed you. Time event. Oh well, actually, I didn't have to press E this time. Northwest border of Syria. No turning back. It has to be here. Okay. Oh, I I can move. The lost tomb. Search the ruins in the cliffs. Oh dear. Well, this is a war zone indeed. I mean, it looks pretty if it wasn't for the bombs, but um, I guess we're in the middle of the Syrian war. Ooh, look at that bird over here. And it's gone. Okay, um, I guess I have to go this direction and... Ah, Lara is not doing so well. As always. I mean, the game has just started and she already looks very beaten up. And again, uh, the mountains are starting to collapse. There was something in Dad's research about this. It was said the Prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the forgotten cities. Legend speaks of an oasis where the Prophet was laid to rest. The Prophet! I guess we're not getting any more specific than that. 
All right, let's go. <sighs> okay, I think I know how to do this. Climb up and sideboards. And now, probably jump up, right? Yes. Slowly by pressing function key. Oh, I see. Okay, well, um, the painting looks ancient. I mean, this could be a modern drainage pipe for all I know, but uh, let's see. Could this really be it? <laughs> nah, it's probably an ancient tomb. Okay. Ooh, what do you got here? Nice little light. By the way, can I... Yes, I can use my sensors to look at all the stuff around me. Incredible. Some kind of marker. I can't quite make out the translation. But this word. Monolith discovered. Explore the chamber of morals. Okay. So what kind of language is this? I mean, it looks Greek. Mm. It's some sort of marker. Byzantine script, but I can't quite make it out. Advanced Leros Greek translation skills to level one. What kind of archaeologist are you, Larry? You can't even translate Greek at level one. <laughs> Um, okay, well, fair enough. What do we got here? These are the miracles of the Prophet of Constantinople, unjustly murdered by order of Trinity. Read more inscriptions to increase language skills. Okay, my Greek has just increased. All right, I see. And the Prophet is apparently the Prophet of Constantinople. Still kind of vague, but that's something at least. He led his followers through the desert to the oasis. Okay, more Greek skills. At least she's a fast learner. Gotta give her that. Oh, is this like an opening? The secret entrance. I guess this is an opening, but um, I haven't fully explored this place yet, so... Still no sign of her. I don't think she survived the crash. All right, let's go. Constantine wants to breach the tomb before sundown. <sighs> They're after the tomb. I've got to find it before them. Who's talking? Didn't see anyone. Okay, he's shown here performing healing miracles. Dad's notes mention this. Okay, now I can translate the monolith. I have learned enough Greek to do so. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Hmm, my Greek is still a little rusty, but it's pointing to something hidden nearby. I'll mark down the locations. Okay, well, I got an achievement for that. And yeah, um, this looks vaguely familiar. Player beacon. Mark any map item with a player beacon. Player beacon appear in world as a blue shaft of light when using survival instincts. Yes, I remember this from the first game. Documents, relics, resources. That's a lot more resources than you had in the previous game. But the rest seems vaguely familiar. We have some kind of map, a coin cache. Okay. 
I'll check that out in a second. Oh, I see shiny stuff over here. Ancient coins. Ancient coins can be traded for upgrades and equipment. So should I look around for more shiny stuff? It's the Prophet. Speaking with a foreign army, he convinced them to lay down their weapons. Okay. So more language skills. I see. Um... Yeah, I don't know. It looks like I found everything. So let's have a look at this opening again. I can probably pry it open with my tool. Yes, I can. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> it's amazing. If only Dad could have seen this. This reminds me a lot of Indiana Jones. <laughs> of course, Indiana Jones was filmed at a real location, so... They didn't invent this kind of architecture, which is like built into the rock. <laughs> that actually exists. Okay, uh, let's go. All right, I can like perform double jumps, I remember. Up here and to this one, careful. Oh, I hear helicopter, yes. Oh no, they're already here. Got to get inside. So Trinity, huh? They sound like an organization that is similar to the Templars of Assassin's Creed. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh, can I make this jump? Yes, I'll find out. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Um, let's make another jump. Cool. Destruction complete. Let's move on. Um, I can probably grab this over here. Yep. Over here. Yeah, I mean, it plays pretty much exactly the same as the first one, so I should get used the to this quickly. Order of Trinity pursued the Prophet and his people relentlessly until finally confronting them in their hidden oasis. This is not like stuff I can pick up, right? I mean, in the first game you could pick up flowers and stuff like that, but none of this seems to be important. Okay, let's move on. Ooh, scorpion! Can I kill the scorpion? Speaking of killing, do I have a weapon? I can't, I can't draw a weapon. I mean, I seem to have one, but I can't actually draw it. A way through. Okay. Damn it. Come on. No. Oh. Okay, well, um let's move on. So many scorpions. mind scorpions. I'm actually a scorpio myself. Um, okay, I need to kick. There was a battle here. Armed soldiers against religious pilgrims. The Order of Trinity. You can gather that from just looking at this scenery and you already know what happened here. Impressive. Oh, shiny stuff. 
Gift of arm. Search inside small containers with orange coloring for rewards. We'll do so. Oh, is there something I can look at? The prophet slain by the order of Trinity. Okay. More skills, and I see more shiny stuff over here. My son. The Order of Trinity has received word that the Prophet's followers are building a great tomb at an oasis outside Berea. But more upsetting, while we thought they were building the tomb for their Prophet, Trinity now believes he still lives. Hm. We have learned he is preaching his heresy among the local citizens, drawing more to him daily with his tales of how he conquered death. He is a liar and a heretic. Claiming miracles that come only from the divine. You swore he was dead. Have you failed us? So this was apparently written by a bishop to his son. Okay. Interesting. So in this game we are looking for nothing less than immortality itself. I see. Ooh. Well, Damn it. that was close. That was too close. Aim weapons to shoot. Shoot structural weak points to destroy traps and break rope connections. Ah, okay. That worked. Of interest in this corridor. They're blasting their way in. Ah! Of course they do. Um. <laughs> <sighs> of course, Lara doesn't have to blast her way in because when Lara something, things automatically fall apart. So she doesn't need any sort of TNT to open up stuff. Might be a way to release that old platform. <coughs> All right. I think I know what you want me to do. There we go. And it would appear that I have unlimited ammo, at least with a normal gun. That's how I'm uh, used to it from Tomb Raider <coughs> games. But it is a nice change compared to Resident Evil 2, which I'm currently playing. <coughs> and where I always have to conserve my ammo. That wall looks weak. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Um, Let's hope this works. What exactly? Oh, I see. Let me see. Now we can climb onto this and up here. Got it. Also, I wonder if there are like campfires as in the previous game where you can save and upgrade stuff. I mean, I see that I'm getting auto saves apparently. Ooh. Oh, um, I want to shoot this. Oh, uh, yes. Let's, let's break free. That still was an oddly gentle trap because, I mean, it could have just ripped off her feet, right? Instead, it just trapped it. Stunning. We made it, Dad. Okay. This looks like a cool place. Navigate to the top of the main tomb chamber. Got to find a way to get up higher. Maybe I can raise the water. Yeah, I think I know what, what you're planning, but let me have a quick look around. I mean, there might be secrets. 
in the vicinity, right? And this is just where I came from, right? Yeah, no way back here. Can't climb up here. Okay, well, I guess um, there are no secrets. Let's open this wall. Now is not the time to fix your hair, Lara. Let's open the wall. That sluice gate is holding the water back. I wonder if I can lift it. Um... Are you talking about this one? By the way, does my map tell me anything about this? Another coin cash. Okay. I will try to find that coin cash. I mean, I'm not sure if I can come back here at some point in the original game. If I miss some stuff, I could just return and pick it up later. Loose gate is holding the water back. Okay, so it's going on this now. Ah, here we go. That's how it works. Okay. So where's all that coinage that I've seen? Give me that coinage. My lord, what you say is impossible. I myself drove a spear into the Prophet's heart. I saw him die. Doubtless his people have propped another man up in the slain Prophet's robe to continue his lies. They are broken, discredited, and exiled. We will head south and put the rest of his people to the sword. But the Prophet is dead. This I swear. The night, death of the prophet. Hmm. Guess we will find out. Okay. Stuff in here. Um, I'm very irritated by the fact that I can't just uh, bring up the map by pressing M. This is not how I'm used to in, in other games. Okay. Coins. Where's another coin cache? Let's put a waypoint on this as well. All right. more stuff over here but I actually need to go over there oh even more coins so many coins you're going to be rich Lara when all of this is over <laughs> well I guess she's kind of rich right because uh, her parents were rich <laughs> I forgot so um well, the map doesn't show me anything else, but then again, I'm not sure if all of the secrets are actually on the map. Well, there's more stuff. Archivist map. Archivist maps reveal locations of documents, relics and murals on the map. Okay. Um, yes, there is a lot of stuff here that I haven't found yet, so uh, let's mark it and let's try to pick it up before we move on. Uh -huh. Something over here. Another religious symbol. But 
This one is simple and handmade. The Prophet must have drawn followers from every walk of life. Hmm. Okay, so is there something for me to find? In the previous game, sometimes you could find something hidden on these items, but it uh, doesn't seem like it. It's just like a wooden cross kind of thing. Okay, um, document. How, how do I get to this place, I wonder? Probably through here? Well, we do have more arms to pick up. Okay, that is like a corridor somewhere around here. Huh. It's blocked though. Not getting inside there. Or do I need to be like on top of this? Ah, that could be true. Yeah, I might have to be on top of this. And if if I see this correctly, I have to climb up here and then jump over there. So I guess I will get to that document later, right? So now let's uh, check out the wall over here. up here. There's also a document somewhere in this little building, right? Kind of. Let's see if I can find it. Um, well, not getting any further on this side. up here? No, I can't. Well, gotta try everything, right? I guess go up here. Oh, well, this doesn't look safe at all. Nope, it's not safe. Ooh. Damn, they're almost inside. Okay. Ah, that's a document. Grab it. My lord, I ride at the head of a small army of the faithful, armed and ready. And I have good news. We have located the tomb of the Prophet. We were attacked by madmen upon the road wearing the Prophet's livery, but they were easily bested. We allowed one to flee and followed him back to the oasis. Whether the Prophet escaped death or whether another now wears his mantle, it does not matter. All will perish inside. And it will become a tomb at last. Okay, the night on the trail. Let's see. Let's jump over here. And yeah, I think I'm going to get to that document later, one way or the other. All right. Yep, that's going to collapse. Oh, right, um, could have seen that trap, I believe. Hmm. Okay. This looks like another kind of puzzle. <sighs> Got to raise the water. Ah, I see. Well, let's pick up the document first. My lord. The last remnant of the Prophet's followers have barricaded themselves inside his tomb. We have made camp at the entrance, and we are preparing to break through their barricades. I saw the man claiming to be the Prophet before they sealed the gates, and I admit, he bears a striking resemblance. But it could not be. 
no matter. They will all be dead before sunrise. The Order of Trinity will see that his heresy ends here. The Knight at the Gates. Okay. Anyway, um, I think the episode is long enough, so I think I'm going to make a cut here. Um, can I, like, save the game manually? Oh, yes, I can. So I guess I don't have to wait for a campfire to save, and I saw an autosave not long ago. So I think this is a good time to end the first episode. And yeah, uh, only one episode and we already visited two locations and a lot of stuff has collapsed. So it's definitely a Tomb Raider game. And yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, looking forward to the next episode. So as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.